We'll look at uh, Luke chapter 14. Luke chapter 14. And it came to pass as he, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, went into the house of one of the chief Pharisees to eat bread on the Sabbath day, that they watched him. And behold, there was a certain man before him which had the dropsy. And Jesus answering spake unto the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? And they held their peace. In other words, they didn't say anything. And he took him and healed him and let him go. And answered them, saying, Which of you shall have an ass or an ox fallen into a pit and will not straightway pull him out on the Sabbath day? And they could not answer him again to these things. And he put forth the parable to those which were bidden uh, when he marked how they chose out the chief rooms, saying unto them, When thou art bidden, or in other words, when thou art invited of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room, lest a more honourable man than thou be bidden or be uh, invited of him. And he that bade thee or invited thee, and him come and say to thee, Give this man place, and thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. But when thou art bidden or when thou art uh, invited, go and sit down in the lowest room, that when he that bade thee cometh, he may sound to thee, Friend, go up higher. Then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with thee. For whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Now this is the position that we need to take as sinners in the sight of the Lord, uh, realising that we are sinners and that we cannot ever save ourselves, and that we need God's salvation, we need it now. It's an absolute necessity, absolute urgent message concerning salvation. We need it now. And this is the point. We've got to um, abase ourselves. We've got to humble ourselves before the Lord so that he can lift us up. See, if we humble ourselves, we come in a position of humbleness before the Lord, humbleness of mind before the Lord, realizing we can never, ever save ourselves by any way, shape or form by any sort of even religious uh, activity we cannot save ourselves it's only by the grace of God that we can be saved through the finished work of Jesus Christ upon the cross of Calvary the one who was crucified for you and for me then said he also to him that bade him or him that invited him when thou makest a dinner or a supper, call not thy friends, nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, in other words, neither thy relations, nor thy rich neighbours, lest they also bid thee again, in other words, invite thee again in return, and a recompense be made thee. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee. In other words, they can't pay thee back. For thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. Now he's talking to believers here, clearly. You see, there's a resurrection of the just and a resurrection of the unjust. Those who are unjust are those who are unsaved. They have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ to receive forgiveness for their sins. In other words, they'll be, they'll never ever be in heaven. Why? Because they have not put their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. This is what's absolutely essential for each and every one of us, that we would come in repentance toward God. That is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And when one of them uh, that sat at meat with him heard these things, he said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many, in other words, invited many, and said his servant at supper time, 
to say to them that were bidden or those that were invited come for all things are now ready and they all with one consent began to make excuse the first said unto him i have bought a piece of ground and i must needs go and see it i pray thee have me excused and another said i have bought five yoke of oxen and i go to prove them i pray thee have me to be have me excused and another said i have married a wife and therefore i cannot come so that servant came and showed his lord these things then the master of the house being angry uh, uh, said to his servant go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither or bring in here the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind and the servant said lo it is done as thou hast commanded and yet there is room and the lord said unto the servant go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled for i say unto you that none of those men which were bidden or which were invited shall taste of my supper and there went great multitudes with him and he turned and said unto them if any man uh, come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters yea and his own life also he cannot be my disciple and whosoever doth make doth bear his cross and come sorry and whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple for which of you intending to build a tower sitteth uh, not down first and counteth the cost whether he have sufficient to finish it lest haply afterward he that laid the foundation and is not able to finish it all that behold it shall begin to mock or make fun make fun of it saying this man began to build and was not able to finish or what king going to make make haste so going to make war against another king sitteth not down first and considereth whether he be able with ten thousand to meet him that cometh against him with twenty thousand or else while the other is yet a great way off he sendeth an ambage and desireth conditions of peace so likewise whosoever be he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath he cannot be my disciple salt is good but if the salt have lost his savor now wherewith shall it be seasoned it is neither fit for the land nor yet for the dunghill but men cast it out he that hath ears to hear let him hear i wonder have you got ears to hear concerning the way of salvation this afternoon the way that we can be in heaven and there's only one way my friend and that is through the lord jesus christ we've got to come to the lord jesus christ to be uh, saved we've got to have forgiveness for our sins and the only way that can take place is if we put our faith in the lord jesus christ if you put your faith in the lord jesus christ your soul will be saved this is god's desire for you this afternoon my friend that your soul be saved you'll have a home in heaven you'll have peace with god you'll have eternal life through faith in the lord jesus christ i wonder is your soul saved this afternoon in other words are you on your way to heaven or are you on your way down to hell now when we're born in this world we're born by default going down to hell god does not want that for you my friend and that's why he sent the lord jesus christ down from heaven's glory to die upon the cross 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. What you need to do is this. Come in repentance toward God. That's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. And then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. Remember, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried. But praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He's a living, loving saviour. He desires to save your soul from a long lost eternity. No need to go down to hell. You can be in heaven through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who shed his precious blood upon the cross, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. Just come in repentance toward God. Acknowledge you're a sinner before God and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. As I said, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.